We are back now with spacious property in the heart of the state dedicated to healing our heroes. The group is Warriors Heart and its new facility opened today in Caroline County. It's a program for veterans, active duty military members and first responders struggling with addiction. Chat on your sides, Amy Avery tells us why opening today is so significant for the organization. Amy. Well, Tom and Lena, September 11th is a day that changed the nation forever. It's the day that really kicked off the war and will forever live in infamy. It's why programs like this are so important to truly bring our nation's heroes home once and for all. I was lost. Welcome home, I'm Lisa. I didn't feel worthy. The alcohol became my best friend and my only friend. Retired Green Beret Shane St. John says two days after his final suicide attempt last October, he was on a plane headed for Texas. That battle within for me was the biggest battle of my life. I'd much rather be in a gunfight than face my demons within. He'd gone through treatment programs before, but nothing like Warrior's Heart. You walk in and everybody's like, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. And you're like, whatever, you know, it's bull crap. After a while, you kind of realize that like you are home. Shane is one of more than 2,500 Warriors Heart alumni. He's part of an elite warrior class made up of retired and active duty law enforcement, military members and veterans. It's not your typical rehab center. This isn't the hospital. It's a very home-like environment. Modeled after their first facility in Bandera, Texas, is the next home of Warrior's Heart. Eight warriors are already moving in this week. But some have bags of stuff, others just shirt on their backs. Founder and CEO Josh Landon says the property was already here. They just had to bring it back to life. There's not a lot of places, if any, that are licensed, private, accredited for our warrior population. Lannon and his wife Lisa used to live in Vegas. She was a cop and he worked in nightclubs. So the joke was I'd get him drunk, she would book him in jail. <laughs> so when I got sober, I was like, I just can't do this anymore. I can't get people drunk for a living. Helping them get sober through different programs like art therapy, wood shop and metal shop. They just haven't been trained on how to live life on life's terms. So that's what this is. It's a, it's a training course. A training course with a mess hall where they'll be able to share meals with other warriors, hang out in the common room or work out in their state of the art gym. Or they can reel in a big catch by the lake, take a hike or sit by the fire. I think it's an unconventional healing space where our warriors are going to naturally gravitate to. You can see a couple of warriors sitting by the fireside. One might have just got his divorce papers. The other one's comforting with his hand on his shoulders. There's going to be a lot of healing done here. A space prepared specifically for healing by those who can't bear to see another warrior down. Post-traumatic stress looks like everybody. It doesn't have a face. Uh, it doesn't look out of control. Warriors Heart Virginia Executive Director Mike Morona is a retired Air Force veteran and San Antonio police officer. He took some of his brothers and sisters in blue through the doors of their Bandera facility. To see them come out bright eyed and with a new sense of a new perspective on life. Yeah, it was it healed me. Warriors can even go home with an emotional support dog like Layla here to help with their healing journey beyond these grounds. Kind of like our warriors here. They just need a second shot. A second shot in their second facility. We know Bandera works, but now we need to do a second. Opening on the anniversary of a day that changed the world forever. To be here 22 years later and opening up a healing facility that's gonna bring healing to the warriors. Maybe even some folks that went through that. If they come home, we can actually bring them truly home where they're not stuck overseas in the war in their minds. So this is a way that we can bring our warriors home once and for all. Helping heroes like Shane come back home. I owe this organization my life. I would not be here if it wasn't for my children and warriors heart. Now they're still working to fill several open positions at their Virginia facility and we have more information on the program on wavy.com. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.